Local police departments say it's a trend happening all across the state, a rise in catalytic converter thefts. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter spoke with a recent victim and looked at some of the numbers. Business has been good. It's picking up, things are going well until we hit this recent hurdle. Sean Michael Green opened J-Dog Junk Removal and Hauling in Fairfield four months ago. We do junk removal and hauling all over Lower Connecticut. We employ only veterans and their family members. And our goal is to try to help as many veterans in the community as possible, either with jobs or donations. And being a new business, getting the J-Dog name out there is critical. We try to park our dump truck in a public area. It's our best billboard. We want people to see it. We want people to know we're out there. Which is why the truck was left at Home Depot in Stratford Monday. Green came to get it Tuesday morning for a job. Went to turn it on and this is what we heard. And that's not what it's supposed to sound like. Thieves had cut out the truck's catalytic converter, something police across Connecticut and the country have seen a sharp rise in. The National Insurance Crime Bureau attributes the surge to an increase in value of the precious metals in catalytic converters. Fairfield police report 55 thefts so far this year, with 15 of them at the metro station. Stratford police estimate 5 to 10 thefts a month, and in Stanford, it's 7 to 10 a month. We're a new company, so we have a new insurance policy. We had to turn this into insurance because it did about $10,000 worth of damage. And Green says supply chain issues mean it'll be at least a month until the replacement parts come in. We're going to have to make alternative arrangements. We don't want to let the community down. We want to keep being able to serve people, so we're going to find a way to do it, but it's going to be without the use of this truck. In Fairfield, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. Police locally say most of these thefts are happening in the middle of the night or early in the morning. They're investigating each one that comes in, but ask the public to contact them with any information they have.